again, everybody. It is 6.52 a.m. November 9th, 2017. Very, very quick update for you. Just want to touch base on Tropical Tidbits here. I was waiting for these last couple frames to load. So the GFS is now somewhat in agreement with this system that is beginning to form as a low-pressure system down in the southern Caribbean here. You can see it right there. It begins to form. I want to switch over to... Uh, Navgem will switch it back to that and then back to GFS so we can see the coloring at the bottom here. And we'll move forward, skip that part, and go right to these last frames. So you can see it begins, the rings are starting to get a little closer here, and then they begin to come together, and then we have a pressure reading there. And now if we switch over, well, first off, take a look at this other system that the Northeast may be dealing with. It looks to be circling around it. That's how big this low pressure system is. It looks to be, oh, geez, almost the size of the United States as a whole, this one system itself. So we'll see what happens with that. That's going to be a, around the 21st. Again, ways, ways, ways out. But worth noting, especially in these winter months for nor'easters and stuff like that, now, if we check out the CMC model, we see a legit storm forming uh, that the CMC has been predicting for about two weeks now. So, the storm came, the storm went. Uh, the CMC was very consistent with keeping the storm on the map, though. I think there was one or two days in the past two weeks where it wasn't there, but it's clearly showing a system now. We are at the 15th, 16th, here's the 17th, here's the 18th. 19th and that's where it resets so again we understand that these readings are far into the future but again for three weeks or uh, two and a half weeks we've been seeing this system predicted by the CMC and now the GFS be, uh, begins to pick up on it on its last couple days of data uh, we have a lot of significant systems flowing from west to east across the US uh, so we're probably going to start seeing some snow soon, guys. I know the Northeast is getting some 50s weather coming up, so probably in the next couple of weeks, probably around when this date reaches 20s uh, near Thanksgiving, we might start to see flurries on a more regular basis. We're just going to have to wait and see. We just don't know yet. But for right now, guys, the important thing to keep an eye on is this. Now, would this be Sean or is this going to be Tammy? Uh, we don't know. We don't know if something's going to form before that. Probably unlikely. We still have Rena floating around, uh, about to make its exit towards the UK and Ireland, hopefully not doing anything significant. But that's where we're at right now, guys. I'm sorry this was so short, but I had to get two videos out today. Um, I'm going to do double the work in the next coming days to make up for yesterday and stuff like that. And we have a lot to watch here in the ocean still, as well as some stuff I'm putting together for the off-season to... Uh, keep everybody entertained and learning stuff that will go um, into use next year and also on a daily basis. So that's where we're at right now. Here's our storm. Looks to be going right over Jamaica and then passing east over Cuba. And then we're just going to have to wait for some more data. All right, guys, have a great morning. I'll talk to you all this afternoon. Bye-bye.